Today, Kevin and I have some coffee to try for you. This is the Kellogg's Ego Vanilla Coffee. And I have the Bones Coffee Company, Holy Cannoli, and the Mint Invaders from Chocolate Space. So there are 12 of these cups, 12 K-cups in each box. Uh, the prices are vastly different. We found the Ego Coffee at Home Goods, and it was $6.99 at Home Goods. The, <laughs> Bones. the Bones Coffee Company were $17.99 a box for 12 uh, at uh, World Market. Now, so, World Market's going to be more expensive. It is, but even if you buy Bones Coffee, you can only usually buy it online. You buy it online or you find it in World Market because I haven't seen it in any other store we go to. Uh, but if, if $17.99, that means... These little K cups are $1.50 each, whereas the Ego was 58 uh, cents. 0.25 cents. <laughs> cents each. Yes. And how much do I, what is a good price that I pay for we, mine? We usually try to stick to around 50 cents or so. Per K cup. Yeah. So now. So even that's a little bit more expensive than what we try to get. If you're used to going out and going to a coffee buying shop. Buying a $6 cup of coffee. And buying a $6 cup of coffee, then $1.50 doesn't seem bad to you. But when you're like us and you make it at home, then a, a dollar fifty a cup is very expensive compared to, to what we're used to. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, it better be good. <laughs> yeah. it, it says, uh, calling all coffee lovers and waffle fanatics, get ready to experience the ultimate morning mashup with Ego Waffle Coffee. Start your day with a smile and the perfect pairing of two breakfast classics in one awesome cup. Vanilla Kellogg's Eggo Waffle Coffee combines the warm, velvety vanilla waffle taste with the rich, robust coffee. It's like a warm hug for your taste buds. So it's, and it smelled really good when it was be brewing too. Yes, it smells sweet. Mm -hmm. But now tell them how you made it. Um, we made it in our Keurig, um, and we do. I do 12 ounces, and we use uh, three sweeteners and two creamers. Just yeah. like we would make our coffee every day. Yes, that's how we make it every day. Um, usually, coffee does not say it has any calories. This uh -huh. this actually says, and this is probably more fair to all of these flavored coffees. They just put zero, uh, or they don't put anything. This says only two calories per cup. Calories. Yeah, two two calories hmm. for something in that vanilla, I guess. But uh, like I said, usually I drink like uh, like right now I'm drinking uh, Texas pecan. That's what I'm on right now, and it doesn't say anything about calories. So two calories a cup is probably more believable. Yeah. Um, but I'm it's, surprised they put it on there. I am too, but I'm glad. Mm -hmm. uh, made with recyclable materials. I guess the box the, and the cup. Uh, yeah. No sugars or artificial sweeteners. Peanut and tree nut free. Certified kosher. It's Two Rivers Coffee Company, if you're wondering who makes okay. this. Okay, you mean me to go, go first? Forward. Okay. It smells a little artificial now that I'm getting my nose in it. It's not bad. Kind of tastes like that uh, alcohol vanilla. It um, <laughs> kind of a artificially kind of vanilla. I think it smells <clears throat> better than what it tastes. Yeah, um, I it's think not bad. even though we put sugar and creamer, like Kevin said, it still has. It's the I think the coffee itself mm -hmm. it has a bit of a bite to it. It has a bit yeah. of an edge to it. It has that strong coffee flavor that. I'm not used to getting with a flavored coffee. Right, I, I see. So it, it still yeah. has a strength to it at the end. Now, I could, of course, get used to it, and there's only now 11 more to go. So I could definitely work my <coughs> way through this box really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but would I buy it again? I would not buy it again. It, for me, it's not even about the strongness of it, because I don't mind uh, a little bit of a bitter coffee flavor in coffee. But um, mine is that artificial vanilla flavor. It's really, it's really like chemical like. Yeah, <coughs> I will probably finish this box because it's not, it's not like it's not bad. Thing. No, yeah. it's not bad. So for me, uh, you know, I drink. It's just not great. <laughs> I drink two cups a day, so yeah. I'm gonna go through this yeah. in less than a week. Um, 
so it's not bad but um, at one point I remember them announcing these Ego coffees and there were gonna be like different flavors and they never showed up here in the stores I found them back then on Amazon and I thought oh I'll order these on Amazon but I changed my mind because I thought, why well, get them on Amazon when I can find them at the store? Never found them at the store. So then when, never had them. when Kevin spotted this at Home Goods, it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. why does that ring a bell? Because they were we were supposed to see them in the stores and we never did. Frankly, I'm glad that I didn't order them from Amazon because you've been stuck with a bunch of them. <laughs> well, the vanilla it should have been a sure thing, and it's not that it's bad, but it does have that. It's a rough coffee flavor yeah. it's kind of like you know like when you you're smoking a good cigarette good cigarette brand has a smoothness to it you go to um, a cheap cigarette brand and it's like floor shavings this would be like the floor shavings of coffee i just don't think it's that great a coffee. <laughs> and if you've never smoked i'm sorry that's the only thing i can compare it to but that's the truth okay we, we used to smoke. we used to smoke we <laughs> used to smoke i know about those floor shavings okay now we have the bones coffee company this is the holy cannoli medium roast coffee does it say anything about it does it have a description a bones coffee company production medium roast coffee i mean nothing i guess it's gonna be like a cannoli it says we buy coffee from rainforest alliance certified farms helping protect the environment and farming communities um this is naturally flavored no, there is mean. literally no description. Um, I love the artwork. Yeah, it's kind of like the Godfather. I think you're paying that expensive price probably for this artwork. We'll see. Uh, but I do think they should have a description <coughs> on the box. They might. They probably do have one if you go to their website. But I'm not on their website right now. I'm looking at this box and there's nothing here. So, okay. But it's the Godfather smoking a cannoli. So, I can only think. Is he really? Yeah. Is he smoking a cannoli? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Their artwork's hilarious. Um, Dude, where else do they sell these at? You don't, can't you get the bags at... They have the bags at World Market. But, they have. We have reviewed the cans. Okay. The from can, Walmart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, they sell the cans at Walmart. Uh, the uh, kind you, you put them in the refrigerator. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, we just reviewed not too long ago yeah, the, that's what I thought. the pumpkin. Do they yeah. sell the bags at Walmart too? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't remember. I'm not sure. Yeah. That, I'm that not sure, just, but I know they don't sell the cake No, we haven't. That's, that's and you know why? Because in order to be able to sell it at Walmart, they have can't to, be said they'd have to look. No, nobody's going to pay $18 at Walmart. They would have to lower their price to put them in Walmart. Yeah. That's why you don't see them. The cans are a different story. People can do the cans, but people aren't going to pay $18 for their artwork. Um, that tastes um, vanilla, and it does have that little bit of that, you know, cannolis have a little bit of a fried flavor that has that fried dough kind of flavor. Mm. I don't really care for it, but... I actually, um, I do like this. I do not think it's worth $18, no. but I do like it. Um, it is just as good as other flavored coffees that I've had. I bought a lot of different brands. We've reviewed a lot of different brands on the channel. Mm -hmm. Um, but I love getting on Amazon and looking to see what, the multi -packs yeah, the, the, what companies I can order from. Uh, this is, is no better. Um, but I actually do like the coffee itself mm -hmm. more than the, the other. Yeah. See, because you're blaming the coffee for that. I'm blaming the vanilla. This is rough coffee. Yeah. This isn't. This no, is it's smooth. Pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I agree. See, like I said, I'm, I'm thinking it's the vanilla in there. You're thinking it's the coffee. Who knows? There's something in there that's kind of hard. Right. Well, vanilla. this tastes. That's it. pretty smooth. Yes. This has, is a smoothness to it. And it doesn't have that artificial, really, no. like almost alcohol chemical flavor. I agree. Yeah. So I like that. So, so it's good, but it's way too expensive. I'm glad I'm going to keep it. Because, <laughs> you know, when we don't like coffee that we review, I, I give it away. And that's, you know, 18 bucks. I hate to give that away. Okay, now this one it will be different. Because this is a mint. Mint Invaders from Chocolate Space. So it's mint chocolate. And it has a picture of an ice cream shop. Oh, I see. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's funny. I didn't say anything about it but like that on the front. Mint of chocolate it. chip ice cream. No. Well, they had to explain that. And I honestly... Is this a movie? 
It looks like uh, a 50s movie or something. If that that might be movie. a horror movie. I don't know. I've never seen it. Or In, maybe. Uh, is there an Invaders from Outer, outer Space? space? That's what I'm is it a about. TV show or a movie? Uh, you're don't about. know, don't know. It, it, it does seem like, especially from the artwork too, it seems like a kind of a classic thing. Yeah. Like it would be like old. old, yeah, One old. Those old cheesy ones. Yeah, <laughs> so you'll have to let us know. Okay, yeah. so mint chocolate chip. Go for it. Yeah, they've got some good artists drawing up their market at their boxes and stuff. They're all like this. I post them all the time when we find them on Instagram. And because most of the times I can find the bags, especially a world market, but I can't find the boxes. Yeah. Honestly, even though they are $18, I would be willing to try every single flavor if I could find them in a world market. And let me tell you something, they're missing out um, because they need an advent calendar. They, uh, yeah, they, they, have, have, one a day or they have enough flavors uh, to where they could have an advent calendar. World Market is the place to go for advent calendars. They need an advent calendar. But mm -hmm. I have posted pictures. They do a, a Nightmare Before Christmas theme, Fallout theme. Yeah, they do all kinds of uh, we, space, uh, Star Wars. Star Wars theme. I, I, anytime <laughs> I see the, the pictures on the box, because it's terrific artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, but is the coffee worth it? Yeah. Well, we buy a bag, we're, we're, it's a whole bag of coffee. Well, I'm not going to use the little converter. I'm not going to buy a bag. I'm only going to buy yeah, a cake. I really like this. It's I'm okay. shocked. It's okay for me too. It's it's another one of those that it, I could drink. I have to be honest with you. I'm not a flavored coffee person. I like just regular coffee. Uh, that one's really strong. Oh, okay. I'm having a completely different experience. You don't think that they're really strong? Like I don't even think no. it's mint. It's something else. It that's what I was afraid of. So I'm not. Um, I'm not a. I don't, I don't know. I would never go to mint in the morning. Like that would just not be my thing in the morning to have like a go eat and work up in a patty. Yeah, something. to have a strong <laughs> mint in the morning. Right. It's just not me. Uh, so like when they came out with those mint cereals, it's like what the heck? Who wants mint in the morning? But this, this is so I was afraid of this. I am not getting mint out of that. No, I mean there is like a little mint. bit of a, a mint flavor, but it's something else. It, see that one comes across as very. Artificial. Maybe more of the chocolate. It could be, but it doesn't have that Tootsie Roll kind of no, fake chocolate flavor. It I doesn't. do have to say that. Mm -mm. But it has more of that imitation flavor, kind of like the Ego did. It kind of has that imitation alcohol chemical like flavor to me. I think the coffee's really nice. The coffee's nice. It's very smooth, so it's not as harsh as the Ego one, but it's, it's smooth coffee, but it's got, still got that imitation flavor at all. So I can complain all I want about uh, the price. But, but fair, you actually like but it. But fair is fair. And I do like the, yes, I genuinely do like it. I think they, they charge a lot of money, but I do like it. And like I said, if they offered more K-Cups at World Market, then I would try every single one on the channel. Because now, if they had been horrible or something, then I would have been like, oh, never again. Learned your lesson. But these are so good that I will keep I will keep all these. And, and I really didn't know that that would happen with this. Well, I would drink the Holy Cannoli. Uh, mm -hmm. But I probably wouldn't drink either one of the other ones. Yeah, well, I would drink these and buy more of this brand to try other ones. Yeah. But the Ego, if I saw like another flavor, I probably wouldn't get it because yeah. I just, it's just, it, it just tastes it's like okay. cheaper coffee to Yeah, me. It, uh, it does. I agree. Yeah. So, if you've ever tried Bones, you'll have to let us know. Uh, I'm always interested in hearing what you think. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.